In this video we will be showing you how to wrap your caddy. Um, the things you will be needing is a clean towel, a sharp blade of some sort, and then a squeegee. Not everyone has one of these available, otherwise a normal credit card or any hard firm piece of plastic will work fine. And a standard scissors. When you receive your caddy wrap, it will be on one long strip. I have already trimmed this one all the way down to just this. Um, it is not necessary for you to do that. All you need to do is just separate the main large one from the smaller ones and then trim the top of this section as close as possible to the edge of the sticker as possible. Only the top, the rest you don't have to worry about it. You can leave it like this with a little bit of white backing sticking out is fine. We'll start off with the main piece. Uh, once you have it trimmed off, you can just fold it in half, give it a little rub over there, and the same on the bottom, just so you get your centers. Flip it back and then just remove carefully. It will just past your centers. And then cut like a 10 mil on either side. There's my center marks. Just 10 mils or so on either side. You can trim it off. And 10 centimeters of this. Carefully flip this upside down, making sure you have the right surface, the smooth surface back down, you can put this back in place, just like that, leaving you with a clear strip. Right, next step, caddy, make sure you've cleaned it, this one is a well used, so make sure you clean it in all the grooves on the sides everywhere where you will be plying your stickers make sure it is grease free clean it with some rubbing alcohol and everything and then let it dry before you apply your sticker once that is done then you can get your piece of vinyl that you have the center piece removed and the reason why you need to Trim the top bit is because we will be losing that to align it against this plastic so all the way up against the top and then your center mark in the center of the caddy which is this strip there. So once that is done like that you have the lined up your print. You can then take the squeegee and wrap it in the dishcloth or if you've got a credit card that's hard plastic it's preferable to wrap it in dishcloth so it doesn't damage the vinyl and when that is ready you simply just press down in the center making sure that it's nicely stuck on your center line and then you can just rub up that little bit that you have removed the backing off If you do have a bubble or something you need to get rid of, you can pull it back off again slowly and then do it again. Once you're happy with that, we can start applying the vinyl from one side and then the other side, which is what I'm going to do now. So we'll just flip this over, pull the backing away just a little bit, and flip it back with your one hand underneath holding this out the way and the other one you're simply just rubbing in one direction slowly making sure there is no bolts and you just keep going in this motion until you reach the next reach 
and hold that up, get in the groove. rubbing in that groove again. Take your time. You can always just check that this is nicely in the groove. If not, pick it up, rub it again in the groove until it's nice and flat and there's no bubbles. And then you just keep working to the next one. to the edge you can just support the vinyl here and just slowly get it to wrap around the corner nicely. Like I say if you do get a bubble just pull it a little bit back and redo it. Once you got to the edge with it. You can flip the caddy on that side. And continue. Still holding the backing, slowly pulling it away as you rub the bubbles out. Notice these extra that goes over the edge. We will trim that off with the blade once we're finished. Just keep making sure you've got no air gaps in these ridges. It will cause a weak point and tear in future. And that is this side done. And you will just repeat the process on the other side. When you have completed this side and you want to do this side, depending on which hand you use, you just spin it around and start working that way the same way. Once we have completely wrapped both sides, you can just go along the edges making sure they are all nicely filled down, especially on these corners nicely and then the overlap just give it a good rub and you will see there comes a ridge on the caddy there is a ridge that you will see and you can follow that line when we cut it with the blade now neatly trim it off level with that line. Next we will be applying the name tag over there. You can remove the full one off and then center it with the hinges over there, get them level. Get the bottom down and then just use your thumb and slowly go up rubbing out any bubbles or creases. You could use the 
plastic credit card or in a paper towel as well but it's simple enough just to do by hand I'll be doing the same with the side stickers they will be coming here just do the same process Line it up and just start from the bottom and rub it. The last one we'll get to is the inside on top of the book tray make sure it is clean once again this one you can also if you want pull the complete one off I lie it down upside down on it just so that you can see how much space you need to leave around the edges to center it You'll see there's a cut out there that will be on that side when we flip it around. And we'll start on either side. Get your center. And that is the rest of the 